friends, I brought over one of my favorite stories from our art area, Dog Loves Drawing. It was written by Louise Yates. Now I'm gonna read it to you before school where, where I'm here all by myself. So as soon as I show you the introduction page, I'm gonna take off my mask so you can hear my words a little bit more clearly. This is Dog, and Dog loved books. He loved books so much that he opened up his own bookshop. When he wasn't sharing books with others, Dog was reading them to himself. Now one morning a package arrived. Ooh, I wonder what's inside the package. Do you have a prediction? This is the package. Inside the package was a book, but as Dog opened it up, he saw to his surprise that it had no words and no pictures. How curious, he thought. And just inside the cover, he noticed a message from his Aunt Dora that read, to my dearest dog, may the lines you draw upon a door to some wonderful adventures with love from your Aunt Dora, XXX. That means lots of kisses. It was a sketchbook. Dog knew exactly what to do. He pulled out his pens, he laid out his brushes, he sharpened his pencils, and he took a deep breath, and he drew a door. What do you think's gonna happen next? He stepped through it and on the empty page in front of him, he drew a stick man. Hello, said the stick man. Hello, said dog. Um, I'm not sure what else to draw. Let's doodle, suggested the stick man. That's the best way to come up with ideas. So that is what they did. And then they turned the page together. It would be even more fun if there were others to join in, said Dog. So, Dog drew a duck, and the duck drew an owl, and the owl drew a crab, and the crab did some coloring in. Soon, they were all spilling on to the next page. What now, they wondered. Let's go on an outing. Who did the owl? So, Dog drew a train, and they all climbed aboard. When the duck was arguing with the others about who should drive, the stick man drew himself a driver's hat. Ha! He scribbled some steam and what's gonna happen next? <gasps> they were off. The scenery streaked past them. They were traveling so fast. At last, the stick man drew the train to a stop. Dog got out, he drew a boat while the crab scribbled some sea. It looks like they're on an adventure in another type of transportation. This reminds me of a nursery rhyme about people in a boat. They climbed aboard, except the crab who clung onto the side. The stick man drew some sandwiches because he was really hungry. The owl copied the sandwiches because she was hungry too. And the duck drew an enormous cake because he was the hungriest of them all. Dog colored a, in a cloudless sky and they drifted. The boat drifted a long way before land appeared. It looks like they might be somewhere warm. I see a coconut tree like in Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. They all got out. They stretched their legs. The crab drew a parasol to protect himself from the sun. And the duck decided to draw. So I've got two questions for you. Parasol might be a different word for you. Remember the crab drew the parasol to protect him from the sun. Do you see what the, what the crab is holding? Usually when I grab something like that to protect me from the rain, I call it an umbrella, but they mean the same thing, parasol and umbrella. But I'm wondering what the duck decided to draw. Any predictions? He drew a monster. I wonder why he would do that. That spoiled everything. The monster chased them all the way around the island on to the next page. Then. The dog had a brilliant idea. He quickly drew a door and he leaped through it. And on the other side, he found himself back in the bookshop. He turned the last page of his sketchbook and made sure all of his friends were safe and that the monster could not escape. See, he drew him behind the door. It says, keep out danger. And then all the friends are safe. Then he dashed out to buy some more paper. Dog loves drawing. And the very next thing he drew was a thank you for his Aunt Dora. Dear Aunt Dora, thank you very much for my sketchbook. With love from Dog. 
and then Aunt Dora got that in the mail. Boys and girls, I love getting mail, and if we don't get a chance to see each other face to face, I'll be sure to send you some too. I want you to think about writing your own book, and it doesn't mean writing the words, it means just drawing the pictures. Then you can tell me all about it. All right, so put your thinking caps on. Tell me about your favorite things, and I can't wait to hear your adventure. See you next time.